There is nothing more aggravating than when someone intentionally is playing mind games to trick you in some way to falling for them. And there are just some toxic people out there who think that these mind games are the only way to find love. And if you are sick of mind games, give this video a like or give it a heart if you're watching on Instagram. And secondly, watch this entire video because I'm gonna be walking you through the seven mind games that insecure men play on women. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little here from sexyconfidence.com where I help you find love and do it with sexy confidence. And this video is all about mind games that insecure little boys play on women. Now I should say, I don't want to be too harsh on men because women, yes women, also play these mind games on men. So as I'm going through these, be thinking not only have you seen this in men, but have you also been displaying this behavior yourself? Mind game number one is gaslighting. Gaslighting, in a nutshell, is when someone calls you crazy for the way that they are being crazy. To sum it up, they are denying the reality of a situation and they are actually manipulating you into thinking that you are wrong. For example, let's say you're just hanging out watching Netflix and out of nowhere, you see a text pop up on his phone from a woman and it has like a heart emoji. You then say, hey, what is that? And he says, oh, stop it. You're being crazy right now. Stop being so jealous. That my sexy single ladies, is gaslighting. He flips the situation onto you and manipulates you into thinking that you're being some jealous, insane woman when in fact, he's just being a cheating Very important distinction. Side note, no one sends heart emojis unless they're Number two is that he abuses you, either mentally or physically. Let's get this straight. If a man hurts you, whether it's emotionally or certainly physically, then he's a coward. There is not a single emotionally secure man on this planet who intentionally hurts a woman. If you're finding yourself in this situation, please seek help and of course, do everything you can to leave that situation. It doesn't get better. Number three is that he uses guilt trips to get his way. Have you ever been with someone where Anytime they need something from you, they are going to lay down the biggest guilt trip on you as if if you don't do this thing, then you are a horrible person. If they are constantly using the guilt trip manipulation to get you to do something that only serves them, by the way, then that is an issue for them to deal with. In a healthy relationship, there is no guilt tripping. It's just both people are putting in their energy and their effort into the relationship, into supporting each person, and thus the whole equals more than the sum of each part. Number four is projecting his own insecurities onto you. This is especially true when there are trust issues in the relationship. If you're with a guy and he doesn't trust you to do anything without him, most likely he's just projecting his own insecurities onto you and he'll use every single excuse in the book to stop you from going out with your girlfriends and living your own independent life. The fifth mind game that a lot of guys play, and by the way, I was probably guilty of this when I was in my early 20s, is he keeps pursuing you and pursuing you until he finally has you, and then once he has you, he's no longer interested in you. This is a result of immature guys who are dating just for the sport of it. I know that sounds awful, but it's true. For guys who are younger and immature and kind of newly single again and wanna get out, like a lot of these guys just want to pursue and chase women, but then once they finally find themselves with a real connection, they push away immediately because it's not actually what they want. This is a result of misalignment man in a man's mind. On one end, he does want to be with you because he's attracted to you, he probably likes spending time with you. But on the other side, he doesn't want a relationship. And this is something I found myself in in my early 20s when I would go out and I was at a very early stage in my career where I just wasn't ready for a relationship. Now, if I could go back and give myself a little bit of advice, I'd probably give myself more of an ass kicking than anything, but I'd give myself the advice of be very cautious with other people's emotions. Even if someone says that they also don't want a relationship, they might even be lying to themselves. Be very cautious with other people's hearts. If there are any men in the planet watching this video right now, which there are probably like two, maybe, please take that advice to heart. Mind game number six is that he uses jealousy in order to get you to react. Jealousy is one of the most toxic yet 
potent emotions that you can bring out in someone. And insecure men who are insecure in their relationship will use jealousy to get a reaction. Whether it's as obvious as flirting with other women in front of you, or as small as liking other women's profiles on social media just to get a rise out of you, these are all things that come from insecure little men. For me personally, anytime I ever felt a woman try to make me jealous or was clearly using these tactics, it was such a turnoff that I could never even return to that relationship. And hopefully after watching this video, if you find yourself with a guy who uses jealousy as a tactic to manipulate you into doing something, hopefully you can just move on from that situation and just realize that he's just a little boy trying to get a rise out of you. Time to say that four letter word, which is next and move on to the next relationship. And the final mind game that insecure men play on women is to downplay your success. Let's say you are absolutely crushing it at work and you come home and you're really excited. If the first thing he wants to do is put you down because you are rising above him, well, he's just an insecure little boy. Insecure people get very uncomfortable when other people are successful around them. And on the other hand, secure people get so happy and elated when they see other people successful, obviously. So the solution that I've found in my life when someone is trying to play a mind game with me in any type of relationship, whether it's platonic or romantic, is just to not react and not give them the satisfaction of that reaction. And if you find yourself in a relationship with someone who's doing this in order to create some type of tension in the relationship, then that just becomes a non-starter for me. I mean, personally, that is something that I would never want to be a part of because imagine what that person will be like further along in life. When you get married to that person, when you have kids with that person, do you really want to be with someone who's trying to manipulate you because they're insecure? Hell no. And if you're finally ready to say goodbye to all the game playing in the current dating world and you're ready to find love and do it with authenticity and find an incredible long lasting relationship, then head on over to sexyconfidence.com forward slash steps where I have a free training that's going to walk you through what I call the little love steps. And these little love steps are so incredibly powerful because they walk you through the process of going from feeling single, alone, and helpless all the way to that incredibly healthy relationship that is completely aligned with your needs. And finally, if you've ever been in a relationship with a guy who constantly plays mind games, leave a comment right there below and share your story. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.